Today is an opportunity for those of you that are here to meet with your elected officials and let them know what we want. Day, this is our ninth year that we've done it and it really started out as a way of educating legislators about the issues that were important to people with disabilities. It's really blossomed over the last nine years from 150 people to 2,000 this year and it's an opportunity for people from all over the state to come and meet with those that have similar issues with, as they do, to be there to see their friends, their family members and to really show camaraderie around this issue that we call disability. It really was an opportunity to hear some folks like Falcons quarterback DJ Shockley, who came and talked about his own experience in terms of having siblings with disability. There's nowhere near the satisfaction I get from my brothers coming to see me play, coming to see me do what I do best. And they are the ones who inspire me, just like you inspire me today. This is an awesome day. This is, this is, this is beyond amazement, just walking up and just being a part of this, just having some kind of connection with it, it thrills me more than anything you ever know. It thrills me more than throwing any touchdown or any championship ever won. Yeah. <laughs> Your message, Making It Real, is brought me here today to Atlanta. We had Michael Morris here from the National Disability Institute to talk about how we make things real economic impacts in terms of people with disabilities. People with disabilities are not any longer saying, that can't be me. They're beginning to say and they're beginning to do, it is possible, I can be a homeowner, I can be a business owner, I can be included in my community, I can be a part of the economic mainstream. We heard from uh, legislators that were here as well to talk about some of the issues that, that were important. So I am so proud that you have done so much to unlock the waiting list for so many people in the state of Georgia, but we've got a lot of work to do. I should be the one applauding you for coming out to lobby for yourself and your family members. It really makes a difference, so I appreciate you being here. Give yourself a hand. Yay. The Senate has been trying every year to put more money in than the original budget to continue to put, get more and more people onto the, onto the list uh, and into the waiver program. This year, the Senate subcommittee is holding hearings to look into why more people aren't getting on for the money we're spending. The Senate is very concerned about that program and will continue to be so until there is nobody left on the waiting list. And we celebrated those that had come before us and those that will go into the future. We could think of no other person better to receive Georgia's outstanding self-advocate of 2007 than Nellie K. Gaynor. It is said that you're never a hero at home. This proves 
that thing wrong. This day is about us. This day is about the population, the beloved community of people with disabilities. Make it real. Make it real. Make it real. There's money to expand graduation coaches to the middle schools so that we can keep kids in school and plan their high school education so they can finish on time with their peers. You all have been educating legislators and you need to continue to tell your stories. You need to continue to, to use one loud voice so that our voice can be heard over all the buses and the planes and all the other interests. Let them hear your roar. Make it real is to have the chance to have a real job, to have a real home, to have real support, to have real choices on how you live your life, you know, to get away from the old model of institutionalization and, and uh, to really give people a chance to have independent and uh, self-determination, you know, it, like we all want. It's important for Lockheed Martin Aeronautics to participate in Disability Today, both as a, a champion of individuals with disabilities as well as this is an opportunity for us to demonstrate to the community that we welcome individuals uh, with disabilities in our workplace. Well, it's, it's um, as simple as the slogan, make it real. Um, there's real people out there that need real jobs and, and real careers, not just jobs. Um, there's people out there, engineers, uh, accountants, uh, mathematicians, all of that um, who are disabled but can do the work with just a little bit of uh, accommodations. I'm pleased because people not only came but they interact with each other, they connect with each other, they participated, they did everything to make their own signs to tell us what we need to do better next year. We may do things a different way, we may do it a little bit slower, but we have the right as you and everybody else do to live our life totally free where we want to live. I think it's very much needed because there's not really a face put to it unless it affects you personally. Until we meet on the net, this is Betsy Goodrich saying goodbye!